speeding through word problems, mastering distance, time, and speed. Hello everyone! In today's video, we'll dive deep into the fascinating world of distance, time, and speed word problems. These problems are a crucial part of the GMAT and GRE math sections. By the end of this video, you'll have a firm grasp on how to approach these challenges confidently. Distance, time, and speed are interconnected. The basic formula that ties them together is distance equals speed times time, text BF, distance equals speed times time, distance equals speed times time. Distance, measured in units like kilometers or miles. Time, measured in units like hours or minutes. Speed, how fast something is moving. It's the distance traveled in a unit of time, such as kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Remember, you can rearrange this formula based on what you need to find. For instance, if you're looking to determine the speed, it would be speed equals distance divided by time, text BF, speed equals distance divided by time, speed equals distance divided by time. When tackling word problems related to distance, time, and speed, you'll often encounter a few recurring themes. 1. Two objects moving towards each other, for instance, two trains starting from different locations and moving toward each other. 2. Two objects moving in the same direction, one faster object might catch up with a slower object. 3. Round trips. This involves an object moving to a destination and then returning. In each scenario, you'd apply the foundational formula, sometimes more than once, to determine the desired outcome. 1. Units matter. Always ensure your units are consistent. If the distance is given in miles and the speed is in kilometers per hour, convert one of them to match the other. Two. Draw a diagram. For complex problems, sketching a simple diagram can clarify relationships between distances, speeds, and times. 3. Use logical reasoning. Sometimes, word problems contain superfluous information. Always ask yourself what's truly necessary to solve the problem. Let's solve a typical problem. Two cars start from points A and B and move towards each other. Car A travels at 50 km per hour, and car B at 70 km per hour. If the distance between A and B is 360 km, after how many hours will they meet? To solve, 1. Combined speed of both cars equals 50 plus 70 equals 120 km per hour. Two, Time taken to meet equals total distance, combined speed. Time equals 360 kilometers divided by 120 kilometers per hour. Text BF. Time equals 360 kilometers divided by 120 kilometers per hour. Time equals 360 kilometers divided by 120 kilometers per hour. Time equals 3 hours. So, the two cars will meet after three hours. There you have it. A comprehensive guide to mastering distance, time, and speed word problems for your GMAT and GRE tests. With practice and understanding, these problems become much less intimidating. Practice regularly, and you'll breeze through them in no time. We hope this video has been insightful. Until next time, happy studying!